Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 10 round contest. Please join me in welcoming in from Barcelona, Pablo Navaez. Pablo Navaez, currently residing in Barcelona, but originally from Nicaragua, 33 years of age. An interesting record across his 26 bouts. He's got nine wins, nine defeats. He's managed to get eight draws in there as well. One stoppage, he's been stopped twice. The, you know, these middle of the road fighters are probably and amongst the most dangerous guys out there. Casey Kadimi. Casey Kadimi. he's four and oh, two knockouts. All of his wins have come here at York Hall. His last two have been stoppages. Class operator, Kademi. I saw him here last time. Disposed of his guy very quickly. Well, this is his first scheduled 10 rounder. Which is a massive step up, a massive challenge. Pablo Narvaez could cause him some problems here. Casey Kadimi seems to be growing into this professional game incredibly well. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know um, what Navarez has to offer, but if he's not a strong enough competitor, I think Kademi will be able to finish this inside the distance. Well, as I mentioned, this is first scheduled 10 rounder. His previous bike was his first scheduled six rounder, but that ended in two. Before we start this international challenge contest, if you're the owner of a black Ford Focus GL11 XYY, you are blocking people in at the rear. Could you please remove the Ford Focus black GL11 XYY? Ah, oh, the glamour of being a ring announcer. <laughs> Back to the action. This is an international challenge contest. The highs and the lows. Three minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the blue and gold shorts. Weighing in today at eight stone and five pound in his 26th professional contest from Barcelona, Pablo Navarez. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the white shorts with a red trim. Weighing in today also at eight stone and five pounds with an undefeated professional record of four victories from four contests. From East Ham via Afghanistan, Casey Kadimi. Your referee, Lee Cook, your timekeeper, Nick Knight. This is a super flyweight contest of 10 three minute rounds. Pablo Narvaez in the blue shorts with the gold trim, Casey Kadimi. In the white trunks with the red and gold trim. Fantastic crowd in here from Team Kademi. Narvaez, he's a dangerous operator. With his 26 bouts, 23 have gone the distance. So should we have to go to the championship rounds? Check it out. He's certainly going to have the gas in the tank. 10 rounds scheduled. There goes the bell for the first. Let's have a look. Casey Kadami. Straight in Kadami. Looks in great condition for this. Back to back stoppages for Kadami. Straight on the front foot as well. That's it. Nice sharp movement instantly. Heavy left hand for Narvaez. Instantly backing his guy up. Just a looping lead left hook. You can hear the expectation in your call, can't you? They want to see another stylish Kadami performance. Narvaez. I think he's quite weary of what Kadami has to offer. Yeah. It's those hands high. Narvaez being a bit tentative and careful, doesn't want to get caught out. Good movement there from Kadami to get himself out of trouble. The crowd liked that one as well. 
Navarez, I mean, definitely not the sharper of the two fighters. Each time Kadami moves forward, Narvaez, he's not really looking to counter at all, is he? He's getting those hands high, he's clamming up. It's almost like it's damage limitation, and we're only 90 seconds into the fight. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're always going to be wary of a guy that has a couple of stoppages on his record. Just the one stoppage win for Narvaez out of his nine professional victories. Two minutes of the first round gone. Narvaez doing a bit of good work of his own there, just backing Kadami up, but I don't think that power bothered Casey. No, his shots don't just don't seem to be sharp enough to really work worry Kadami at the moment. Nice little inside hook. Covering up well. Yeah, that'll be disheartening for Narvaez every time. Well, the first time, really, he's looked to get on the front foot. Kadami gets those hands high and almost uses it as an opportunity to get some air in the lungs. Nice little feint and then a hook to the body lands lovely. Oh, nice work from Kadami. Throws the hook with the left and gets through the guard with that right towards the end of the first round and then ducks out of the Narvaez attack. And that is a good first round for Casey Kadami. Definitely, yeah, he's getting into the fight already. Aggressive start, throwing lots of different combinations and shots. Moving well, looking sharp. Given this crowd who paid good money to see him, something to cheer about. Yeah, Narvaez needs to liven up and uh, start doing his own work now. Well, 10 rounds is a long time to not engage. Especially when, when you have someone Ten like Kadami in front of you throwing all kinds of shots at you. Seconds out, round two. Referee Lee Cook. Waves them in for round two. Touch of the gloves there. Still a bit, still respect between the two fighters. I think there has to be Kadami very ambitious in this game. Kadami doing some great feinting. Like a jab feint and then a body shot. But again, he comes forward so quickly. Narvaez almost looks a little bit dazzled when he does. Good jab work from Kadami as well. Just very nice, controlled, sharp work. Bit of switch hitting there. Shows you the confidence Kadami has in his own skills. Approaching a minute around number two here. Again, Kadami the aggressor. Perhaps that one a little bit low. No word from the referee, though. Oh, good work from Narvaez. Kadami gets out of the way well, but... Great movement by Kadami. Didn't really get hit by any of those punches, I would say. Just very slick. Switch hitting all the time. They're coming from awkward angles from Kadami as well. He starts to mix it up close. As soon as they do start to exchange, that's when Kadami seems to be really able to stamp his authority on this bout. Just very much in control, moving just out of range when Navarez wants to throw and then coming back with counters. using those feints well because he knows that Narvaez as soon as Kadami tries to engage he covers up 
That's where he's seeing his gaps and he's Very exploited nice. another one again. Narvaez trying to swing his way out of trouble, but his power just not bothering Kademi one bit. Narvaez just struggling to pin uh, Kademi down and actually hit him with clean shots. Lovely overhand right by Kademi. And again, beautiful feinting of the hook jab and then coming round the guard with the hook. Narvaez. Oh, lovely movement of the head on the belt. I was going to say, what's Narvaez? As he looks towards us and puffs out his cheeks. He's a lot more flat-footed than Kadami, isn't he? He doesn't move nearly as well. Yeah, I mean, if you're a fighter that likes to stand stand and just have a fight, you know, it would be a nightmare to have someone with that kind of footwork in front of you. Narvaez. Just getting a, bit, getting a bit of attention from his corner. The trainer's gone in there to try and wipe him off with the towel. He said, no, no, get that thing away from me. Just wanted to be fanned off. He has felt the heat there. I mean, it is quite warm in the York Hall tonight anyway. Well, yeah, but he's had six tough minutes as well. Ten seconds. Taking some punishment from Kadami, who by contrast... Seconds out, Listening intently Round to three. the words his trainer's got for him. And he very composed, today, very focused. Round three. And a touch gloves again. It's a nice gesture. I think Kadami realizes he's well on top of this one. Nice. Nice bit of movement and an overhand right by Kadami. The crowd ch chanting Kadami's name now. Well, the crowd are enjoying it. I think this is going to be the pattern of the fight, really, as Narvaez gets backed up again. Yeah, Novaes is starting to look like he's run out of ideas now. Well, every time he looks to walk forward, every time he looks to unload, Kadami just gets out of the way and turns the screw. And then yeah. when Novaes doesn't want to engage, Kadami... The footwork like of Kadami is just too slick. Looks like he has all the time in the world to do what he wants. Saw that right hook coming a mile off, did Kadami? That's right. Oh, but Kadami has think been that, caught there. I think that was a slip. Tripped over his feet. Well, a little moment of worry for the Kadami fans. Yeah, I mean, it could have, I mean, if depending on the ref, it could have probably been given as a count because... Well, the way he went down, the look on his face, Narvaez certainly threw something. Oh, but Kadami straight back to the action, regardless of whether it was a slip. Or whether he was a knockdown. I think that slip or knockdown has given Narvaez a new lease of uh, life there. He seems to be coming back with more. Well, take your advantages wherever you can get them. That's it. To the final minute of round number three. Kadami just needs to stay focused and composed. Lovely combination. Nice lead left as well. He's got all the shots as Kadami. That's right, and he's you know you can see the confidence in him is growing as well. His hands are getting lower and lower. I think he's got to the point three rounds in where he. Is confident he can deal with Narvaez's power. I think he worked that out pretty early. Yeah. Narvaez, by contrast, still looking to cover up whenever he can. And that bell brings us to the end of round three. Well, an interesting round there. Bit of controversy as well. My initial thought was that. 
Kademi was off balance, and Narvaez did perhaps catch him with something, but referee yeah. Lee Cook in a much better position than us, and he was pretty quick to call that as a slip. I think it would be interesting to maybe watch that again on a video rerun, but yeah, I'd, I'd say probably, you know, tripped over the legs there. But a better round for Narvaez. Still don't think he's caused Kademi a great deal of problems. Three rounds into this scheduled 10 rounder here at Hellraiser's Summer Brawl. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think uh, Kadem is very sort of Ten seconds. confident and relaxed. Uh, the, the thing that rattled him the most was maybe the trip then. Seconds out, round four. No, no matter what the situation, Casey Kadami is not used to being sat on his backside in a boxing ring. And look how keen he is to get back on with the action as well. Leaning his chest into referee. Eager to show, show off his skills. Oh, Very landed. nice. Sharp uppercut and a hook. And then a right to the body as well. Almost a few throwaway jabs up top to open up that space. And Narvaez is in that corner. Narvaez is too worried about defence to even throw anything back at the moment. Lee Cook gives the photographer his marching orders then. He's getting a little bit too close for comfort. And Kadami's getting a little bit too close to comfort for Narvaez as well. He manages to march his way into the middle of the ring, only to be marched straight backwards again by Kadami. I think that was Narvaez's best try so far. Overhand right. Well, he's caught Kadami there, and it didn't budge him an inch. Overhand right onto the chin of Kadami. Although he's not going to stay there for another try. Just moves out of the way and comes back with an attack. Very slick footwork by Kadami. And that left hand on the jab, it's almost piston like, isn't it? He can get three away and then follow it up with a right hand. Bit of a low shot by Narvaez. Uh, I think the ref was just walking around behind Kadami, so he didn't see. And the guys are just stood there trading in the middle of the ring. Well, the longer this fight goes on, the more interesting it becomes because Kadami, he's in great condition, but has never been beyond four rounds. So we mentioned before his first scheduled six round that ended in two. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Narvaez is counting on that uh, and going to start opening up maybe later on in the rounds when he sees Kadami maybe slow down a little bit. Well, that's where the test comes, certainly on the scorecards. Kadami on top during the opening exchanges. It's been a bit of a better round from Narvaez, though. Starting to move his body a bit more. Still flat-footed, and Kadami's movement, the more impressive of the two. They exchange there, and Kadami just has more power, more impact. He's got those low hands as well, almost allowing Narvaez to throw that right hand, and then moving with the punches. A headlock takes us to the belt. And a good round of boxing to take us into number five. Yeah, I would give that one to Kadami. But it was definitely Narvaez's best round so far. Yeah, I think if there were any that the judges were going to give a 10 all, it might have been that one. But Kadami, a comfortable victor in the previous sport. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think you're right. I think that this is the strategy of Navias to kind of start opening up as the later rounds, because um, obviously this is new. This is new ground for uh, Kadami. Ten seconds. Seconds out. Round five. Here we go then, round five, uncharted territory for Casey Kadami, Pablo Narvaez. Having looked in trouble early in rounds one and two. Still behind in the bout. 
still with a lot of questions to answer. But is this the moment where he starts to get himself? Yeah, I mean, you, even just straight away, you can see he's looking a lot more livelier. Throwing more jabs, throwing right hands. Well, that right hand. That right hand by Navai has landed lovely on Kadami's jaw. Again, doesn't look particularly bothered by the power. But if you keep tapping something with a hammer, eventually it's going to smash. Here goes Kadami, though. Lovely Working double that jab. Fast left hand and catching Narvaez with an uppercut as well. Working the body, trying to get those power shots away. So quick and so explosive from Kadami. So those shots, like you said, piston like, just pumping out. Where's a couple of Narvaez's jabs before the counter right? And it's just the way he throws those jabs in three. So impressive. And in the opening minutes of this round number five, Kadami effortlessly just switch hitting. Narvaez for the first time. Actually looking in a little bit of trouble on oh, a lovely movement from Kadami to well, evade that right hook. I mean, Navai is very game though, coming forward. He really wants to fight. Well, that could be his undoing because he was coming forward there where he looked a little bit shaken. And trying to punch your way out of trouble. Well, it can go two ways. That's right. It certainly makes for great nights, great fights. And we've got one on our hands here at York Hall. Oh, nice uppercut there from Kadami. Just stopped Narvaez in his tracks. These two exchanges, though, they're starting to be a little bit more competitive than they were in the opening few rounds. Yeah, like, like I said, I think this was Narvaez's game plan all along. Oh, nice right Just wanted to there. get through those first few rounds, maybe slow Kadami down a little bit, let him tire himself out, and then start opening up. Kadami still wanting to come forward, though. Narvaez, happy to take a few shots. It's brave, it's game. Oh, and a lovely little combo on the inside there from Kadami. This is it, as the more Narvaez opens up and starts to fight, the more chance there is that he's going to get caught with a shot. That could end the night. Likewise, though, Kadami's opened the door for Narvaez a little bit. Lovely, lovely roll under the punch there by Kadami. He's ducked into a couple of left hands there from Narvaez. Yeah, he's, he's getting hit a lot more than he has done in the first few rounds. What I do like about Kadami though, is the way he's happy to throw that jab when he's off balance, just to stop Narvaez's momentum. That's right, just to put him off his rhythm. But we're at the halfway point here, five rounds in. Kadami still fresh, but Narvaez unquestionably growing. However, sits down in that stool and he looks a tired man but definitely developing into an exciting fight now well can the two of them keep this momentum up for another five rounds if they can it'd be a remarkable achievement because it's been non-stop action yeah i mean i have a feeling kadami can the question is is navaya is going to be able to keep up 10 seconds. Kadami. Four fights, four Second wins. Out. Round six. Two by way of stoppage. Navaez. He's only had one stoppage victory in his career, and he's only been stopped twice. That's in 26 bouts as once again the York Hall crowd start to chant Kadami's name. Each round that continues will be another test for Casey Kadami. It's the longest he's had to box in his professional career. The faint hook is landing for Kadami really well. Watch for Narvaez when he tries to throw that lead right hand. He winds it up from so far out. Kadami's able to just step out of the way. Go to work again. Nice hook. Lands two good shots to the head. Narvaez acknowledges them. Neither of these fighters want things to slow down, do they? No, I think uh, there's going to be action-packed to the very end, un unless someone fully runs out of steam. 
all gets stopped. Narvaez backs Kadami into the neutral corner. Lee Cook has a little word with Kadami. Oh. As this bout gets closer and closer, the last thing you want to do is upset the referee and get a point deducted. Good head movement again from Kadami, though. Yeah, just to get out of trouble under a punch. Very nice work by Kadami, even though not all of it was landing cleanly. Once he's inside, his work rate hasn't slowed down in the slightest, has it? And round six here. Still throwing those flurries when he gets close enough to Narvaez. Gets hit with a decent shot by Narvaez. Again, look at Narvaez, heels flat to the floor. Walks forward, you know exactly what he's going to do. It's just a case of not allowing him to do it for Casey Kadami. Just switching his stance again there, Kadami, and throwing from both sides. And then moving oh, nice out of the left way. Hand. Sharp left on Narvaez. His guard's just a little bit lower now, Narvaez. Remember when he was really covering up that head, almost panic stations in the opening couple of rounds. I think he's starting to get to grips with the power of Kadami. Yeah. Six rounds down. I think Kadami still comfortably ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, most definitely. Um, although, although Narvaez, I think, is definitely getting closer and closer. But he's still got a little way to go to overtake Kadami. Even though it's been a close fight, I think there's probably an argument for Kadami to have got a maximum in every one of the six rounds so far. I don't think Narvaez has cleanly won any of them. Ten seconds. He might have had a 10-10 shout. Yeah, maybe maybe one round where there was seconds out, fairly round even. Seven. But but each round, I think Narvaez is getting slightly closer. It's a bit of swelling around that left eye of Narvaez. Lord knows he's taken enough shots. No notable markings on Casey Kadami as we enter into the seventh round. I think Kadami's landed about 100 hooks to the head of Navaez already. And Pablo Navaez. And every time Navaez is coming in now, Kadami is throwing three jabs, four jabs back. Just a machine gun jab. And now a nice combination. And as he's moving forward, he's ghosting those jabs and he can almost decide which one he throws. And as soon as Narvaez covers that, opens up that rib cage, just as we've seen there, Kadami swings that right hook at it. And then a nice bit of movement just to get out of any trouble that Narvaez would offer. Well, you can tell Kadami is starting to slow down a little bit. Well, it's going to happen at some point in the fight. Never yeah. gone beyond four rounds before. This is round seven. We're halfway through it. Still getting those multiple jabs off, though. But the hands are down. Kadami's laces look to be getting undone slowly. Wonder if the ref will notice. Maybe even they're feeling the pace. Because it's been pretty hectic. He's yeah, gone definitely. through some work as Casey Kadami. Good nice body him. shot by Kadami. And then just moves out of the way of any trouble. Navaez is firing back though. Oh, 
nice right hand there from Kademi. But Narvaez wore it and then came back with a left hand. Kademi caught just, that one on the chin, but he was moving backwards. Just clipped him. I think Narvaez is hoping Kademi will slow down so they can have a kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe scrap. Which seems pretty strange because it's it's pretty obvious to everyone that Kadami is the more powerful of the two punches. But that's what Narvaez wants, isn't it? He wants yeah. to stand there and trade. I think obviously he he's, he knows that he hasn't got the footwork. So, you know, once two fighters go toe to toe, both guys have a chance. Of course, it only takes one shot then. And here we go, seven rounds down. Casey Kademi having to answer questions that he's never had to answer before. The board for round eight goes up. And looking over at the corner, a little bit of application on the cheekbones and the eyebrows for Casey Kademi. And it's the first time he's really looked like he's breathing heavily. Yeah, definitely. He's, yeah, he's taking some deep breaths and focusing on exhaling. By contrast, looking over at Pablo Narvaez's corner. He just looks the same. Yeah. If anything, he looked more tired at the end of round one than yeah. he does at the end of round seven. Yeah, he seems to be getting into Ten this fight. Ten seconds. But still, you know, if it continues how Second it has done, it's going to... Round eight. It's going in Kadami's favour, I think. Well, huge credit to Casey Kadami for taking a 10-rounder in only his fifth professional bout. Heart of a warrior. Obviously, backs his quality, backs his conditioning. And he's come in against a very game opponent, very durable opponent, who's grown into this bout. Round eight of the scheduled 10. Casey Kademi backing Pablo Narvaez onto the ropes. Just switch hitting as he comes forward. Nice body shot by Kademi. And then it just moves out of trouble. Yeah, the footwork, a huge difference between these two fighters. Narvaez. It's just lovely to watch when you can throw a couple of shots and then just step round your opponent. We're getting out of trouble. If you're going to have any progress in the fight game, it's probably the one thing that you need to master. Because at some point, you're going to have to. Kadami's movement has been exemplary. Over the seven or so rounds we've had box so far here at York Hall. Hellraiser's summer brawl. Fair play to Narvaez, though. He's in there all the time and has his little moments as well. Well, he's having to stand within range, isn't he? I think he realises that that's going to be his only chance of getting something out of this bout. It's getting to the point where he's going to need a stoppage. Approaching the halfway point of round number eight. I like those little touches and then just moving your head, setting up for a bigger shot. Narvaez turned his back then. First time we've seen that in round eight. Is that a sign of fatigue? Yeah, I think his legs have definitely got even more tired. It's difficult to tell because he was so flat-footed in rounds one and two. Let's look at Casey. Well, he, he's not, he's, he, I mean, when Kadimi moves back, he's just walking towards him. He's not even really shuffling his feet. Gets caught with a clean shot by Kadimi. Oh, oh Kadimi nice gets... Nice right hand there from Narvaez. Kadami's worn it, but he doesn't want to wear too many more. Narvaez and going to work. And he's been hit with another one. Ooh, nearly came out of the ring there, Kadami. Well, Kadami's spending some time on the ropes there, and that's been a real rarity. Yeah, I, mean, I, I counted about three sh decent shots that Kadami got hit with, but they don't seem to have bothered him at all. In the dying embers around number eight. And that's arguably been Narvaez's best round. 
Kadeimi right in front of us here. Spending Mike. some time on the ropes. It's the first time he's not been able to instantly get himself out of trouble, and that'll really buoy Narvaez. Yeah, I think I think that'll give him some extra additional energy now. We're going into the ninth round. He's going to think, look, he's starting to slow down. I can catch him on the ropes. Maybe I just need to fight. You know, give it all I got, and I could maybe even turn this around. Well, if the officials have judged this any way that I have, Narvaez is going to need a stoppage. Ten seconds. And he's going to need to find some power from somewhere because those shots that he landed seconds out. in that round, round were as nine. clean as anything he's landed in the fight thus far. And they didn't 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 even wobble or shake Kademi at all, visibly. No. They kept him stood still for a little bit longer than they had done in the previous rounds. However, Look at him here, doesn't look hurt, does he? Round number nine. He's back on his footwork, just moving out of trouble when Navais decides to throw. What this has been for Casey Kadimi, coming off the back of two decent stoppages, is a real challenge. He'll have learnt a lot in here with Pablo Navais. I mean, now he knows he's a 10-round fighter, so it's going to open up a lot of doors for him, I think, now. Round nine of the schedule, 10. Kadami still working those feet. Narvaez. The, movement, the movement's still lovely by Kadami. Doesn't look tired at all. Just keeping that left hand free and picking Narvaez off as he comes in and gets a little bit too close. Just stings him with that left hand. And then switch hitting. Although that. Machine gun jab, certainly not as sharp as it was in the opening rounds, but that's to be expected. Very few fighters can maintain that level. Lovely just touching him with the right hand and moving away. Bit of marking now under that left eye of Kadami, and also a little bit on the left collarbone as well. Last bit of movement by Kadami. Oh, and then comes in as well. Well, he used the words classy operator Very nice. during the ring walk, and Kadami is showing all of his class here. This is what boxing is all about, you know, hitting and not getting hit. Lovely. And the counter shots as well. This is real eye-catching stuff from Casey Kadami. A little bit out of range with that right hand. Narvaez has just shown enough movement to keep himself out of trouble. Oh, Beautiful man. right hand by Kadami. Lead right, just beat Narvaez to the punch there. Just faints like he's going to go one way and then just fires out the right. And at this point, Kadami is changing his game and less being the aggressor than he was in the opening rounds. Because he, not, I mean, he knows Narvaez is now chasing it, so he's going to have to come to him if he wants to win it. And he's oh. showing his versatility. I think he heard us talking and uh, decided <laughs> to stop chasing. Well, he is chasing the fight, Narvaez. He's going to need a stoppage to win it. And as the bell goes, he's going to have three minutes to do it. Casey Kadami was a ghost in that round. Pablo Very Narvaez. Nice was chasing shadows. I think it, I mean, it looked to me as like boxing at the highest level. Some of the top, top guys there do that kind of stuff. And Narvaez is almost walking to the neutral corner as if to say, come on, let's have a fight. Let's throw a punch. I think there's nothing more demoralizing than trying to hit a guy that just, you know, if you can't lay a glove on someone, then they're hitting you, breaks your heart. A huge credit to Narvaez, actually, because the temptation to get frustrated in those kind of situations and really open yourself up to trouble right. is always there. He's behind on the scorecards here. Another round like that for Kadami, and he's going to be moving to 5-0. Yeah, I think, I mean, Kadami can do what he wants in this seconds round, out. just Ten stay completely away round. or attack a little bit or, or come to fight. I mean, either way, I think he's got this fight. Tenth and final round. 
Three minutes for Narvaez to find a stoppage. Three minutes for Casey Kademi to show us the quality he's shown over 27 minutes thus far here at York Hall. Still sharp though, still on his toes, his movement is exemplary. And I think that's the difference between him and a lot of fighters at this level. Natural movement, natural awareness, moving Narvaez around and then after just 30 seconds throwing the first punches of the round. Just lovely to watch. You start nearly feeling sorry for Narvaez when he keeps eating shots like that. But he's kept coming and he's certainly earned the respect of the York Hall crowd. I see, I think Narvaez needs to just maintain that pressure. I know he's tired and it, you know, it's very hard to do at this stage in a fight, but if he wants to win, he needs to just make sure he stays on top of him. Kadami takes a step back. Narvaez needs to take two steps forward. Well, nine and a half rounds in. And he's bouncing around the ring. This could be any of the rounds in the bout. Still looks fresh. There's a little bit of marking. I think both of these fighters are going to need a day off tomorrow. Yeah, well-deserved day of rest. Absolutely. Put on a great show here over 10 rounds at York Hall, but still about 90 seconds to go. Is there a sting in the tail? Is there a twist to come here? Nice right hand by Kademi. Well, he's maintained the power, isn't he? Oh, oh. he's... Thought for a second we were going to have a count there, but the referee says another slip. No, no, he tripped over the um, advertising sign, I think. Oh, Kadami, he's living on the edge. Sometimes. I think where he, you know, where he is moving so much, it, you know, inevitably means that his feet get tangled with stuff. Well, he's still moving well, he's still confident, he doesn't look phased by it. And even if you do have a slip, I think being able to get over that as quickly as Kadami has. Yeah, I mean, he got straight back up and covered up. Yeah, that was a good chance for Navias to jump on Kadami then, and he just couldn't get there in time. Well, Navias had his little bit of an answer there in terms of movement with the shoulder shuffle, but I think that highlights the gulf in the movement between these two fighters. Navias does land a nice right hand there, though. And another right, although doesn't look to phase Kadami at all. A few seconds of this one remaining. Casey Kadami. Still lucid, still moving so well, ducking under the right hook of Pablo Narvaez. The bell goes Good at the end rounds. of 10 rounds, and Casey Kadami straight up on the ropes. Pretty sure he's done enough. He salutes the York Hall crowd who've come out in force to support him. Pablo Narvaez from Bar Barcelona Good. via Nicaragua. Never really looked like he had enough to trouble Kadami but he's certainly given him a tough 10 rounds here definitely, at York Hall. Definitely, Narvaez definitely was in it, in it, fighting to the end. Well, we're going to go to the scorecards. I think anything other than a unanimous decision for Casey Kademi as the international challenge belt comes into the ring. It's Mickey Helliot bringing it in. The main man here at Hellraiser Promotions. It's the Hellraiser Summer Brawl. And will this be the first belt around the waist of Casey Kademi? To go for 10 rounds in your fifth professional fight, to get a strap around your waist, this would be a massive statement of intent for Kademi. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him in his fifth fight, 10 rounder against a really, you know, a decent middle-of-the-road guy. And winning, obviously, that belt. His confidence is going to grow, and, yeah, I expect big things yeah. from Kadami in the future. Look at the body language. I think Narvaez knows. Mark Schmidt gets a round of applause for both boxers, which they deserve. Ten tough rounds, but let's find out the score. After ten rounds of action, a referee cook Scores the contest 98 points to 94 points to your winner and still undefeated from East Ham via Afghanistan, Casey Kadimi. 
98-94. And your appreciation for Pablo Navaya. Up goes that Afghan flag. And the international challenge belt El goes Rangers around his waist. Mickey Helliot is now presenting the coveted, prestigious international challenge belt. And what a no moment for Casey Cadeiri. No wonder Mickey Strauss always fall down. He's not the best with a belt. Five fights. Casey. He's a 10-round fighter now. He's shown his quality. He's shown his conditioning. And he's won eight of the ten rounds against a durable, experienced opponent. Casey Kademi will now feel like he's going places.